Hey everyone, Dan B. 1500 here again. Today's video we're going to be taking a look at the limited edition 16,000 metallic neon, neon green silver buzz from the busy store from 2010. I haven't used this buzz before, but I also did with him, but that was in low quality. This is in much higher quality now. This is right in front of me. As we can see, you know, he has like a Yes, this is an obscure Buzz Lightyear I have. So as we can see, he has like a, instead of lime green, he has like a neon green, or metallic neon green look, and a silver look to him. Come on close. So, my camera, so there's his face, and a lot of stickers. He has Andy Arc's boot because you know Busy Store is the only company that really does that. Uh, it's just my sorry. This guy doesn't stay well because this one has loose, this one does not have ratchet joints, I think ways, so he can fall over easily. The back just looks good. There's his iPhone, his wings, and his check exhaust wing stickers. His Disney Pixar made in China logo print on his butt. There's filling caps, so you can't like take him apart. Okay, he's he's here. Well, but his wrist being here. When he's bring him close, so you can see it. This this color looks like it's a dark blue. I think it's a light blue or gray or something. Yeah, it's a different color. It's not the usual light gray color. You press, supposed to press this button and someone's supposed to flip open, but you know, I got mine used off eBay, so it doesn't do that, but more of it. But it still does open and close to his head. Okay, his arm will that's the price of action. Press this button in the back and I just turn forward. Right chunks. Um, yeah, it's a great feature, but in my opinion, this is not really maybe accurate because look, and maybe this was not a button. It's a, this was a sticker. It's this part you press. I think we actually got the right in the crush of action was later because that one does not talk. Sorry, he's been, sorry he's been dust on him from being on the shelf for a while. Also, he's his arm down. There's his laser. That's like one of the worst Buzz Lightyear sounds ever made. And I think it's actually used for an old Disney Store Buzz from the 2000s. It was like a stripped down version of 95 Buzz Lightyear. I think we toys. Sorry. This guy doesn't, it's not easy when, uh, sorry. Sorry, this guy has like pretty weak joints. So he's not gonna stay off there. Pretty good. Oh. Yeah, okay. His wings. Yeah, the, the, yeah, they are. The wings are silver, not purple. Just the back. Push them from away you, like this and push them up. Let's show it again. Yeah, unfortunately these are supposed to light up and these were supposed to light up as well, but, you know, I got them used so these don't work anymore. That sucks, but no biggie. These are collectors. One. Okay. I'm just, sorry. I want to fall over again. He has like, you know, it's buzzes like this can easily fall over because they're weak knee joints. If they're not ratchet. Under his phrases, he, he speaks 15 quotes. Not just to Mount's original voice. Let's listen to him. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Buzz Lightyear at your service. All quiet, nothing to report. Please be careful. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. They are a trillium carbonic alloy and I can't. Yeah. 
And that's all he says. That's why this, this place is actually part of like the original 2010 Disney Square Buzz Light Years. Because those ones had like a pale face. Like, I was telling you, the faces were pale. The, the Starkman logo is this darker blue. The, and also the voice box is muffled sounding. And they also don't have the, ha, the, the you know, on their phrase where they say, how dare you open a spaceman's helmet on an uncharted planet. My eyeballs have been sucked from their sockets. They don't have the choking noises. I think it was the 2011, 12 or 13 reissue they did that. They also even updated voice box. These ones have muffled voice boxes. Our variations of this one, besides this one, are the normal one, the Spanish one, like the original 2010 one with the grim face, the 19 Spanish, 15 English, before JC Payne made theirs, that was kind of a stripped down one. My Vacation Special Edition, the D23 25th anniversary. He's like this one, except his green was darker, his silver was darker, and his wings were metallic, purple, not silver. Yeah, so I mean, this is like probably the, this is like the older Disney store buzzes with the fancy buzzers, pale faces, and this is certificate of authenticity. Three, if you want. That's my number is four thousand eight hundred sixty-five out of six thousand. Five other languages on the back. I don't have the Woody with me right now because he's upstairs. I haven't reviewed him yet because, because well, I don't want to risk it because, you know, he's, he's in the back and I have, with my other two Woody's and I have like at least four other Woody's sitting in front of him so I can't really show him to you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'll review him when I get a chance. I'll review on both these guys and show them together if I get the chance. So the state Trooper's Legion was 6,000 black, white, and silver woody if I ever get a chance. I just don't have reviewed him because he's in the back the woody section up in my room. But if I get him out, if I ever get the chance to get him out, I'll review him. Yeah, it's a pretty good buzz overall, you know. It does suck his lights don't work anymore. Yeah. And some of this light here was broken. My god. The sword didn't say anything about him about that. It was kind of strange. Yeah, but I eventually broke. My mom's stepdad had to fix it. And also his foot with Andy was broken off and had to be glued back on. So, I got this guy, you, this guy, the boy with the, his hat and stand in the, the box and certificate of authenticity used. And I think it was 2018 I got him. It's pretty good. You know, 40. It goes for like 200 to 300 in the box. I think the original retail price is 80, but... Most of these are kept in the box because you know people don't want it. People don't want to take them out because they're edition. I mean, I swear I did not take mine out. It was like when I got it. So, if you're looking for it on eBay. I might go for like 200, 300. I got pretty lucky with finding mine for a, a good deal. I hope you enjoyed this review. Just leave a like on this video if you enjoy it. And feel free to subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more reviews and. You also, and can, can gladly feel free to comment below in the comment section. I will gladly re reply to your comments. So, you all have a great day. See ya.